For the questions about linear approximation, you need to remember the formula of the equation of the tangent plane or equation of the tangent line. And then you should understand that we can always use derivatives and the given point to linearly approximate the result we have. We did this in calculus one class with lines. When the function was given at the point, we could find the tangent line. We could actually approximate, for example, this value with the value on the line instead. And the difference would be the error. So now we can do the same thing in 3D. In 3D, there's a 3D curve or shape, and we can use either tangent line or even tangent plane that touches the surface of the 3D shape at one point to approximate the value on the curve or surface. Instead of that, we're going to use the tangent plane. But the idea is still the same. We just find derivatives, and just like before, they will help us to approximate the function we need. So that's what we call linear approximation. Just in this case, we have partial derivatives because we have more than one. So linear, uh, linearization, capital L, that's a typical notation, find for the given function at the given point. Well, since the function is given, let's find partial derivatives with respect to x. That will be just square root of y. Partial derivative with respect to y, that will be x times 1 half y to the minus 1 half, because now y is treated as a function, which also can be written as x over 2 square root of y, if you want that. Plug the point they gave us. It's minus 5, 5 and 4. So I will write down in blue partial derivative with respect to x at minus 5 and 4. If you're new to multivariable um, functions and derivatives, maybe take a pencil and write down this is your x and this is your y. So it's going to be square root of 4, which is 2. And then in blue color, partial derivative with respect to y at minus 5 and 4 gives you x is minus 5 and then square root of 4 is 2 again so it's going to be minus 5 over 4 linearization l of x and y is use the formula we showed you before so linearization l is f at a b plus derivative with respect to x at a b x minus a times x minus a plus derivative with respect to y at a b y minus b so it will be f at minus 5 and 4 which actually we did not find yet we should have found it before plus Partial, well, I can write down for you if you want partial derivative at minus 5 and 4 x minus x sub 0, so minus 5 plus partial derivative with respect to y minus 5 and 4 y minus 4. So that's what we're doing here. We found this and this forgot to found, find this so let's do it over here f at minus 5 and 4 that's the original function so let's go back to the original x is minus 4 times i'm looking over here square root of 4 y is 2 so it's minus 10 done so it's going to be minus 10 plus 2 x plus 5 minus 5 quarters y minus 4 if you simplify it which means distribute all the 2's 2x plus 10 and minus 5 quarter collect 5 quarters times 4 is just 5 minus minus gives you plus collect the terms l will be that's the final answer, 2x minus 5 quarters y plus 5 plus or minus. 
minus 10 plus 5. I think it should be minus 5. Which is going to be plus 5 because 10 and minus 10 goes away. So it's just plus 5 at the very end. And this is the answer. In general, do you know how I remembered the formula for the linear approximation? I remember that it should be like I would say f. I would say f of x y minus f of x y sub y. That is like my y minus y sub zero in two D, but this is my z minus z sub zero. If you think about it, z minus z sub zero equals and then just like mx plus b you have a slope first so slope now is partial derivative at the point of course so x zero y zero shift x minus x sub zero one more slope shift y minus y sub zero and so on and then they moved this to the right so it became plus z sub zero and they called this l that's how I memorize it if it helps you. Maybe this way you will memorize this formula easier.